there's a yeah. there's a concept called being unwilling to lose it's a very interesting concept and i heard about this guy vic baronco who i've followed for many years he created something called the morehouse this is again this is an extreme example but you get the idea he was entering into a real estate contract with an agent mm -hmm. and it was a big thick contract and the agent you know gave it to him he said yeah read through this and sign it if you're good with it and vic opened a drawer pulled out a gun and put the gun on top of the contract and he said is there anything in this contract I should be concerned about? And the agent said, let me take it back and have another look over it. Now I'm not recommending you go and pull out a gun on people. Yeah. This is an example of, he was unwilling to lose. And if you, you're willing to stand up for yourself and be heard, I mean, now again, let's go to an extreme example, Gandhi. They told him, no, you can't have India back. He was unwilling to lose. Guy just kept going. That's how he showed up. Martin Luther King, could we free the slaves, please? Mm. Yeah, not a good day for us to do that. Mm -hmm. Guy was unwilling to lose. That's mm -hmm. also um, a good word for this is dignity. Dignity is a place to stand, which says my voice matters. Mm -hmm. And I will be heard. Some people go too far. You can go mm -hmm. over into the shadow of dignity where mm -hmm. you are dominating and arrogant and belittling people and forcing your way. That's the shadow of dignity, but pure dignity. I have a dream. Mm -hmm. No, and definitely. My voice will be heard. And, you know, I think over there is better than over here. What do you say? Yeah. What do you say? <laughs> Let's go. Let's that's go. <laughs> that's dignity.